Windows using WSL2. Uh, I'll work, walk you through the entire process from installing WS, WSL2 to running Docker Desktop, uh, setting up DocGE as our container management system, system and even launching a demo server using Docker. Uh, whether you're a beginner or looking to enhance your Docker skills on Windows, uh, this video has, you, has got you covered. If you enjoy the content, please leave a comment below, subscribe for more tutorials, and consider sub joining our YouTube members for more exclusive content and perks. So let's get started. To start the installation, I've written a guide on the website. Open PowerShell as an administrator. Paste this command in. Hit enter. By default, I'll be installing Ubuntu. You can change this with the D flag if you want so WSL install and then uh, minus D and to get a list you can use this command so for the change to take effect I'll just reboot the machine After we reboot our PC, we get prompt to enter our username and password. Uh, if you don't get this screen, you can show us open your start menu and open Ubuntu from your start menu. Just enter your name and keep in mind that this is blind typing, so you won't see the password getting typed. There we go. Then I recommend updating and upgrading your packages. So we copy this command and run this. Enter the same password we entered a minute ago. Optionally, we can change the default uh, links uh, distribution. I'll just copy this as an example. So if you want to see what distributions are available you can use this command and you will see all the available uh, link distributions for example Kali Linux, Debian, Ubuntu now for installing docker desktop we have to go to the official website we have to check the prerequisites before we can turn it on we have indeed WS uh, all two features in, installed and enabled now we have to download the docker desktop version Make sure you select these two options, press OK. After installing um, Docker, we have to make sure the settings are correct. So let's open Docker for desktop. don't have to create an account so you can also say continue without signing in you can skip the survey if you want
Now we have to go to settings, to general, and make sure that USD SL2 based engine is enabled. You can check this if you want for uh, DNS, re DNS resolving. I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. It's also important is if you go under uh, resources, so we have Zell integration and make sure you have enabled it for your uh, distribution that you have installed. Press apply and restart. Next step is to install DocGE. DocGE is a container management system. Uh, you can also use Portainer for this, but in this example, we will use DocGE. You can customize the location and default port settings, so keep that in mind. And for those custom settings, you can go to the website of the developer. You can customize the directory, the port that you will be using. Let's say we want port 5002, for example, and you will see the changes will be made in the uh, compose file and also in the file, in the curl command that you will need during the installation. I've provided the default uh, settings here, so let's continue with that. Let's open our Ubuntu image. Keep in mind that these commands have to be made as a sudo. to enter your password. And go to the directory. Now we have to download the compose uh, file. Also make sure to run this as sudo. And then we can start the server because we have uh, privileges to run uh, Docker, don't have to use uh, sudo for that. Allow access for the Windows firewall. And when it's done, you can navigate to the local host with the password they want. I will be greeted with the uh, login screen of Docsi. Uh, enter a username and a password. Make sure your password matches, of course. The best part for me for DocGE is that you can enter the Docker Run uh, commands and convert them to a Docker Compose file. So let's say, for example, we have this uh, little web uh, container and the sample usage is this Docker Run com uh, file. Instead of creating our own Docker Compose file. We can just go to docge, paste it in the Docker Run command, say convert to Compose, let's give it a name, make sure type everything in lowercase and leave no spaces. You can uh, edit everything, so let's say if you want port 80 to be 81, you can change it here. For this example, we just keep it uh, default. When you're ready, press deploy. You see here in terminal, debug window says, so, okay, everything's okay, everything's started. Uh, over or is starting uh, in this example. Give it a minute. And when it says healthy, everything's running, you can go to a local host with port 80, but you can also 
just click on the port and here you go we have our hello world i hope you find this guide helpful and that you're now able to run docker seamlessly on your windows machine if you have any questions or run into any issues feel free to leave a comment below and i'll do my best to help you out if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and consider joining our youtube members for more exclusive content and perks and again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video